Hello, you people out there in YouTube land. I'm Brian Harrison from Harrison Ultimate Gameplay. Or actually, it's called Harrison Ultimate Gaming. I'm sorry. I'm used to something else. But anyway, it's called Harrison Ultimate Gaming, and I'm here to unbox something for you. And actually, it's already been unboxed, realistically. But I wanted to... I just started this channel just after I got this. So it is rarely new. Um, I've had my Xbox 360 for a while, but the, those are still relatively new compared to when they first came out with the Xbox 360. But this is the Xbox One. I waited a little bit to get it, but I am happy to present this to you guys. Um, yes, it, um, it's a pretty cool box. It's, like I said, it's already been unboxed. Um, I'll show you basically what it comes with. Um, it comes with, a, of course, an HDMI cable, 500 gig hard drive and it's wireless capability and it has of course the console and the controller and headset and all that good stuff but the cool thing is it came with the HDMI cable which the Xbox 360 offered an option to plug in an HDMI cable but it didn't come with it so here we go okay now of course if you look on the back of the box it has you know, it has like the TV stuff and the cool stuff, uh, what it looks like, I guess, on, on, uh, on your TV, and it pretty much looks like this, uh, this actually is a cool game, I have tried this in the store, but I haven't actually played this for my personal use, I hope to get that game, maybe put on YouTube, alright, so let's get to the actual console itself stuff, uh, I kind of have some of it set out here, because I've done this I had already opened this. Um, they gave me one free game with this, and it was of my choice. Not like, you know, usually they had like a bundle where they had the game inside, you know, and you got and you didn't get to choose the game. It was just it, what it came with. Xbox 360, for example, especially if you had got the Xbox 360 with Connects, which I did when I first bought my first Xbox 360. It came with two Connect games. It was Connect Sports and Connect. Um, adventure, some adventure game. Anyway, so this one, I chose Destiny. Um, I actually kind of liked the game and kind of thought it would be kind of cool. I haven't seen gameplay or haven't done any gameplay on it, but I hope to do that soon. Um, the other game I got with it was Call of Duty Ghost, but I bought this one. This was just, I paid extra for it, and I just wanted to play it. I love the Call of Duty series. Uh, I wanted to play as a first-person shooter. I think is kind of, kind of cool. Call of Duty Ghost. Remember that. We will be putting this through the Xbox Live, uh, or Xbox One. We will be playing this through Xbox One. Of course, I play it on Xbox Live. But uh, let's see here. Um, okay, well, uh, we're getting to the headsets, and there's a reason why I have two headsets here. One of them, if you remember, this is the Xbox 360 headset, and you kind of put it on, and you know, you have, you know, you play your games. Well, so, um, since I own the console, I wanted to compare the two headsets. Well, so of course this is the Xbox 360 headset, this is the Xbox One, and actually I like the Xbox One a lot better. Only for the matter of fact is, I usually get a, like if you have your headset, especially with this right here, it usually presses up against here, and it kind of, you kind of feel sore after a while, and you kind of rub it and rub it, and it kind of doesn't feel good. Well, this one, you, like, I, it's in front, so I... So it doesn't feel, it actually feels good. It actually does feel real good when I play games online or whatever. But I haven't done it a lot massive gaming yet. But I have worn this for a while to see if I like it. Of course, I haven't actually still unpacked the, uh, still haven't unpacked the, the little end to it. Uh, they always like to put tape around. So I got the mic, I got the plus and minus. It's actually kind of cool. It's fully equipped. It's nice, so I can put up the volume or turn it down. See, that's what I like about that. This one, you couldn't really... Oh, yeah, you could. You did it through the wheel. But I like that idea, because it tells me what the minus and pluses are. I don't, have to, I don't have to guess so much. I still do play my Xbox 360 quite a bit. I still love it a lot. Now, the big thing is... We're getting down to the console, because the console's the bottom thing. But the big thing is the power supply. I like that when Xbox 360 did, they had the power supply inside the system. And it made it a lot easier. It was a lot better. Um, the outside thing, I don't know if I like it, really. It's still huge and bulky, like, 
it's a mega brick. Uh, it's just crazy. But it does the job. It powers the system. does pretty good. The system actually stays really cool. That's the one thing I do like. The system stays, for me, fairly cool. Uh, so that's, that's a big power supply. Uh, and then, okay, I got a USB thing. I haven't really dealt with much with this, but it goes with the controller because I wanted a wireless, or not wireless control, but I wanted a, a rechargeable. And so, and that's one of the cool things I do like is I recharge it from my console instead of buying some special battery pack. Um, um, th this, is, this is the remote here for the Xbox One. It feels pretty good. I mean, I like the feel. It's a little big for my hand. I mean, my hands are big in some ways. I mean, of course, they're big than most women. But my hands are a little big for it. I know some women, there are women who do complain because their hands are extra small, like smaller than guys. I, I know they swear they make these for guys. But some guys, even though, I mean, I have pretty good, I have pretty decent hands. They're not massive. But, I mean, it, but yet at the same time, there is a, there's getting used to it. That's the thing. And it's kind of... It's just different. But it has a feel... Pretty feel good, though. Even though it feels big. Um, I do feel like things, in some ways, are pretty separate. I mean... There's gonna... It's gonna take some time getting used to. I do kind of like it. The one thing I don't like... Because I play a lot of Minecraft. And I do have it for the Xbox One. Is they don't have the keypad yet. I love my keypad that I have on the Xbox 360 because I do a lot of Minecraft, and I like to type things. I'm so used to just typing, and it's really, it's like, you know, like using your phone, keypad on your phone. I wish they would do come up with a keypad for the Xbox One. Okay, so the difference between these two controllers, like, I brought my Xbox 360. I actually like this, and it is pretty quiet. That's what I liked about my Xbox 360. I can play at night, late at night, and, you know, if you're one of those people, like, late at night where... You're, like, I live out in the middle of nowhere, so you don't really hear a lot of sounds. You just hear, like, maybe your your fan, or you hear, like, a mo your modem. Sometimes you're like, wait a minute, I didn't know my modem made that sound, because there's nothing else going on, really. And so you're hearing, well, I like the Xbox 360 because I didn't hear, you know, I didn't hear those sounds. Like, your parent, if you have parents are sleeping, or your spouse is sleeping, whatever, you don't hear the sounds. Uh, and so... And, um, of course, I like it because it has my keypad here on it. I got three keypads for this thing because I have other people play Minecraft with me. Uh, but I, I actually liked it. It fit, in some ways, it almost it fit my hand better. I mean, I understand people complain about it, that you can put your fingers like this, but I don't do it anyway. I just switch back and forth, and I just got good at doing this, you know. So it's going to take me a while to get used to the other one. Whereas this controller is a little big. It, it does feel pretty decent though. The feel of it is a good feeling. Like it's not necessarily plastic. Like it's a, like when I hold it, it's almost like you're holding a rubber thing or something like that, you know. But it's still, it is louder than the other one a lot, quite a bit. And so, um, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna take some time. And but even though I don't think it's enough to, if you have your man cave, it's not gonna, unless your wife <laughs> somehow is sleeping in your man cave for some reason. Uh, and some people do, couples do have what they call, like, they have their own separate areas, but they kind of still together. So, which is kind of cool. I like, I don't mind that either. All right, now last we're getting to the system. Oh, boy. Um, uh, I have the original Xbox. I have an Xbox 360. And by far, this is the biggest system. And I'm thinking to myself, if they can make a, couldn't they learn from the Xbox 360? about the size. I mean, the machine's pretty decent, but about the size, I mean, the Xbox 360 is pretty compact, but it did, a, it did a efficient job. It was really good. Um, why the size? Uh, oh, but overall, it does look pretty good in my, in my, next to my VCR. <laughs> it really does. I mean, my VCR is almost, it's still bigger than this because I have the VCR DVD combo I still have. Um, but, which, um, anyway, it's just, this is almost the size of my VCR. My VCR still beats it by quite a bit, by a little bit. But this is almost, this is like the second biggest considering to a v, to my VCR. Anyway, um, I don't know. if With this big of a thing, I would have almost stuck the power brick inside of this with this, having this big of a deal. But, but I guess it's just, 
I don't know. It's a cool system. Okay, let me tell you about the system. I, I, I did set the system up so I know uh, the system, you know, so people can't say, well, I think the Xbox is okay because they don't own one. All right, I own Xbox One. I had to set this thing up. All right, so I bought it from the store, GameStop. Of course, I'm going to kind of diss on them a little bit because of the workers they hire there. I know more than half of the people in the store now, sometimes. Um, but they told me I could not transfer, or they told me I could have, th th they would ask me to enter my email, but I could have keep my same profile I use on the Xbox 360, so my Xbox Live account wouldn't work on my Xbox One, even though I already have it on Xbox 360. So I'm thinking, they'll make you buy another Xbox Live account even though you already own one for a year? And that's what they're saying. Oh, yeah, you have to buy another card. And I said, no, I'm, I'll, I'll not do it for now. I, I got Xbox 360 for a year, blah, blah, and I just didn't go with it. So I went and installed. I went and started setting up the system. Well, the system, actually, Microsoft makes things so complicated sometimes. Um, the, the updating of the system, because as soon as I put it out, it gets me through some of the basic stuff, and then it says, oh, I need update. And I'm sitting there, and it's taking, it took... I thought it was going to, you know, I want to play my game, right? you know, try to get set up, maybe play some games Friday night. It did not get done until Saturday morning, and I bought it in the afternoon. But I didn't set up till about 7 o'clock in the evening, so I did not get done till like 4 or 5 in the morning on Saturday. And that was it, and that was because I had to turn off my, I even had to turn off my router, which was working fine. I turned off and turned back on. It helped it or the system struggled. So, finally, and I have pretty decent internet, pretty fast internet, so I just thought, I was like, I don't know, maybe it's the Xbox One, maybe, but of course, knowing Microsoft, they came out with Vista, they came out with Windows um, 8, which is, every so often, they come out with a bad system. It's not, every other, it seems like every other system is a bad system, so it's that's their trend. I, you know, I don't like Windows 8. I can despise it. I have friends that use it, and they will business, half the businesses I know won't use Windows 8, because they, it's just too hard, and it's just, not just hard, it's the system, it's like Vista, it takes up all kinds of stuff, and it, there's all stuff running in the background, and your computer's supposed to be fast, but it's too slow, because there's too much in the, I mean, it's just, there's too complicated system, and they try to make it for the tablet, as well as for your desktop, or your laptop, and it doesn't work that way, um, but anyway, but overall, I liked the system. I actually, it was easy. I, it asked me to enter my email and my password. So I entered my email and my password, and it down, downloaded my profile to the Xbox One. And it also downloaded my points. So like if I played past games, like on the Xbox 360, I have those points. So I still have, let's say I have 3,000 points. Uh, I think I do have about 3,000, um, um, well, I won't call points, or not really points, but goals or something like that. Anyway. It allowed, it showed that I had some past, you know, history. Anyway, which is awesome because then I get to play my game. You know, I get to play the new games and whatever on the Xbox One that the Xbox One offers. Of course, I have two Xbox 360s. I also have a Wii. Sometime I may show you a setup. Um, right now, there's a room being remodeled, so it's going to take time. So all, everything I would set up has been kind of all over the place right now. There's not really a place for it because um, I'm used to having another room for stuff and when you're remodeling stuff sometimes it gets really frustrating and annoying because you have to pull everything out and then remodel it and find a place to put it. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys um, on the next video or next time. Anyway, um, there's it will be another unboxing and that's Something that will go with the Xbox One, Xbox 360, and some of my other systems. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.